In this video, we'll discuss whether it is possible to change your mindset. Beliefs can be changed when they no longer serve you or enable you to get to your goals. Resistant to change. Although mindsets can change, this only happens very slowly. This is especially true if you have long-held beliefs about something. For instance, if you have been told that eating an apple a day is good for you, you may find it difficult to believe if someone told you otherwise. Even though a fixed mindset is easy to form, it is resistant to change. Take the example of a stake holding a tent in its place in the ground. Although it can be moved, once it has been placed, you are reluctant to move it unless there is good reason to do so. So once you have formed a mindset about something, it conditions your future opinion about that thing. For instance, if you consider an upcoming event boring because the last one of the same kind was actually boring, you may not want to go at all. However, if you do go and find it to be not boring at all, it may take you some time to change your mindset. Using fear to change your mindset. An individual with a fixed mindset is more interested in looking smart than with learning. And as such, when you want to appear smart, you become fearful of looking stupid. This in itself is an inhibiting factor. It's a possibility that this stems from a feeling of rejection or ridicule from childhood experiences or events stored in your unconscious mind that you may not even remember consciously. As a result of this unconscious fear, your fixed mindset of always trying new things resists learning stalls your development, and may even make you act lazy. To counter this effectively and change your mindset, you need to become aware of the fear driving your behavior, and then realize that this fear has no basis in your present reality. You need to overcome it and let it go. As an example, students with a fixed mindset view their intelligence level as unchanging. Their prime concern remains proving that they are smart, or hiding that they are not. As such, they tend to avoid situations where they might fail. They also don't recover well from setbacks and only prefer engaging in tasks that they can already do well. The same also reflects in others with this mindset where they limit themselves and sabotage their efforts. Using actions to change your mindset. Another approach to changing mindsets is through actions since skills and talents get developed through repetition and constant practice. The key to changing a fixed mindset is identifying and refuting the fixed mindset voice and taking growth-oriented action repeatedly. Although this isn't something that happens overnight, you can develop new skills through deliberate and repeated practice. And for every new skill that you develop, your fixed mindset voice weakens. Identifying your counter mindsets. Mindsets get formed through previous experiences and emotional milestones. But when these mindsets do not deliver the results you expect, they become counter mindsets. This results in producing feelings of self-doubt, limiting beliefs, and other negative thoughts that get in the way of progress. For the most part, these negative thoughts occur so often that you may not even be aware of them. Think about that nudging voice which makes disparaging comments when you look in the mirror. It is the same voice which makes you unhappy with the way you look, makes you hesitate when approaching someone new, or even when you want to consider a career change. Now everyone experiences negative thoughts or counter mindsets to a different degree, but the damage is collateral. It allows you to habitually destroy your dreams and makes it very hard to remain positive. The only thing that remains are nasty reminders like, I can't talk to him or her, I'm not smart enough for that, I'm not qualified enough, or I'm out of shape, and so on. To change your mindset, you need to pay attention to when this voice gets raised and how often it happens. This will allow you to pinpoint the triggers of your counter mindset and narrow it down to a few key themes. Shifting gears from the negative to the positive. Once you have established your negative thoughts, you need to prevent them from holding you back. Whenever a negative thought surfaces, counter it by giving an instant yet positive reaction. Say you want to go for a walk after dinner to get in more exercise, but the problem is that once dinner is over, you start hearing that voice that you're too tired, too full, or that it's too late to go out now. Put a stop to that thinking pattern right away by getting up and putting on your walking shoes. You will find that often just taking that first step is enough to turn off that nasty voice in your head. Understand why you need to change. Changing mindsets takes work as formed habits aren't easy to break. This becomes even more challenging since many of the bad or limiting habits got formed when you were little and you have been doing things the same ever since. Understanding why you need to change a habit or mindset will make it more meaningful. Here are two things that should come in handy, motivation and willpower. First, you'll need to rely on motivation to get you through changing your habits. And while the why will provide you with motivation, it can be hard to maintain in the long run. This is where willpower should step in and keep you going. However, willpower can run out fairly quickly too. Think about trying to eat healthier, and then you find a pack of Girl Scout cookies next to the fruit bowl at work. Maybe you get your willpower together and resist the cookies. Next, 
You plan on going to the gym after work, but need to stay behind for some reason. By the time you're done, you're not only tired, but out of willpower as well. Plus, the fact that you weren't able to stick to your original plan doesn't help either. So do you end up going to the gym or straight home? You probably know the answer because it happens to everyone. So when you try to change your habits by relying on motivation and willpower alone, these might not be enough on their own. And that's also why so many people give up on changing their habits soon after they start, unable to follow through. Instead, what you need to do is become a little forgiving and allow yourself some space to stumble. A fixed mindset leaves no allowance for mistakes, leaving you emotionally drained and hesitant to try anything new. Start small to finish big. One of the best ways to change mindsets is to start small towards big goals. Trying to become healthy, wealthy, or wise, along with more compassionate, calmer, and successful is never easy. Once again, you need to fight all your demons embedded in your mindset from those early years. So if you find yourself stressed most of the time, try to meditate for two minutes every night before sitting in a lotus position for a straight half hour in a racing mind. If you'd like to become more fit, start with something as small as one push-up only. Build your strength up along with your mindset before you get to an impressive set of 20. Decide on your tiny goal and pursue it with a positive mindset. Oftentimes, you may find that you actually do more than what you aimed for, maybe two to three push-ups instead of one, and you will feel great as you overachieve. On other days, you may only achieve the minimum, but still feel good since you met the goal. Many people think that it's pointless to start so small, but consistently hitting small goals successfully can help form new mindset habits. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.